वेलकम गाइज टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन द आयु पैक नोमिन क्लेशर सीरीज आई एम अभिजीत फ्रॉम बस्टिंग जे ई एम एन डॉट कॉम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल चेक आउट हाउ टू फाइंड द सब्सिट्यूएंट्स इन एन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड द रूल इज एक्चुअली वेरी सिंपल देर आर ओनली थ्री थिंग्स प्रेजेंट इन एन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड स्ट्रक्चर द फंक्शनल ग्रुप द पेरेंट चेन एंड एवरी थिंग एल्स इज अ सब्सिट्यूएंट सो एनी थिंग दैट इज नॉट अ फंक्शनल ग्रुप or which is not part of parent chain is a substituent that's it let's see some examples and see how we can apply this rule let's start with something like this we have an oh here and a double bond here so clearly the functional group is present here so that is out of the list of substituents so this is not a substituent and all that remains in this compound is the functional group that's right there are no substituents in this compound because everything is either a functional group or it is the parent chain another example i have something like this here is a ch3 and then here is an oh so clearly the functional group present in this compound is oh and if you if you look at this compound carefully this is your parent chain so let's remove that portion after getting rid of the parent chain and the functional group we see that there is a ch3 lying over here now this ch3 is a substituent let's take one more example i have a compound like this here is a chlorine then uh, let's take a cooh group here and let's take an oh here now this compound has more than one functional groups so if you remember only one of them can be treated as the primary functional group and that primary functional group is the cooh so now that we have identified the primary functional group let's look at the parent chain and the parent chain if you watch carefully is this that means there are two groups that are not part of the parent chain and that are not the functional groups one is a chlorine over here and another is the oh group now these two groups are what we call substituents so to summarize once again all those groups that are not part of the parent chain or that are not the functional group are called substituents so guys in this video we looked at how to identify the substituents present in an organic compound with that information now we are ready to write the names of different types of organic compounds that are present so in the coming videos we will take up each class of organic compounds and learn how to write their names if you found the video useful please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel we will be uploading more and more useful contents for you daily that can help you in your preparation for entrance exams this is abhijit from bustingjeemain.com see ya